What's up, fellas? Coach Kyrus here. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about a couple outfield drills you could do at home. Um, I'm out at a park right now, so I'm lucky I got a park a couple minutes from my house. You guys take a drive, take a walk up there if you got this. If not, front yard, backyard, whatever works for you, as long as you could get outdoors, man, you could work on a ton of stuff out here. So. Whoever you guys are quarantined with right now, mom, dad, brother, sister, if they could help you out any way they can, please encourage them to do so. Any way you guys could get your work in would be awesome for whenever we can get back out on the field again. Um, gotta take advantage of these times and make sure you're constantly working on stuff. I know you guys got online classes going on right now. Sometimes it could be tough, but hey, getting outside day like today, Whatever it is, 60 degrees out, it's gorgeous. It's a nice way to take an hour or so out of your day, you know? So one of the drills I wanna to talk to you guys about, I got three things I wanna I wanna put emphasis on. Drop steps, um, find the cut, and switching up rolls. I'll get into those as I come across them in this video, but for right now, before we get into any of those, I wanna to talk to you guys about the footwork. I talked to you guys about this before. You know how I like to describe my ready position as my Goldilocks position. So what that means, a little refresher, when you're getting ready for the pitch to come, you're not gonna stand up here when the ball's crossing the zone when the guy's about to swing. You're not gonna stand up here because then when, when the ball is put in play, you're gonna you're gonna take a little shock and you're you know, nobody runs straight up like this. Likewise, the exact opposite of that. I see a lot of infielders like to get down here as outfielders. We're not doing that because when we have to turn and run for it, we're not going to run like this, okay? So when we get, if we get down here, we're going to have to come back up so we can actually run like a normal person to go get to the ball. So that's a split second that we just eliminated, saved time, and that might be the difference between, you know, a snow cone catch and the ball tipping off your glove, giving up a double or a triple. So I get in my... My Goldilocks position, my nice athletic position, and then what I want to put a huge emphasis on, which not a lot of coaches honestly mention. I don't even remember if any of my coaches ever actually took the time to teach me this, but it's unbelievably important, guys. You get in your ready position, you're coming up, and you see right now everybody talks about a creep step, okay? But I'm creep stepping, and let's say the ball crosses the plate right now. My left foot is up here. My right foot's back here. If the ball's hit over my left shoulder, this is, I don't know, six, seven inches that I have to make up ground for when I open my hips to go get the ball, right? So if I jump step, listen, listen to that term. I'm gonna use it a lot when I get to see you guys again, jump step. When I'm creeping up, I'm gonna jump so both of my feet are even with each other. So if the ball's hit over my right shoulder or if the ball's hit over my left shoulder, I can open up either way, okay? And it's a lot, a lot easier and it saves so much freaking time. When you're here and if you're, you know, if you're creep stepping and here's the ball crossing the plate now and your feet are right here, head over your right shoulder, you're screwed, man. So, Goldilocks position, okay? Get right here, shoulders are even with how I'm gonna run for the ball either way, okay? Goldilocks position, ball's about to cross the plate, jump step. Now both my feet are established as pivots. So again, right shoulder, left shoulder, either way, I'm ready to go, okay? Um, another thing about the actual drop step itself, I like to teach and every time I've drop stepped in the outfield myself, it's always been, okay, I get my jump step and I pivot, I open up, okay? A lot of guys like to, you know, question and some major leaguers even still do it. They'll get up here and their drop step is they they turn both feet at the same time now the balls hit i took my drop step i'm in the exact same spot right now as i am as i was when the ball was hit okay so if i go against that i creep in okay i take my jump step the ball's hit and now i pivot that's i don't know how big my leg span is here but three four feet that I just gained ground to go catch the ball. So again, ball hit over your head, that's the difference between a snow cone catch and the ball tipping off your glove and you're giving up bases, all right? So, mom, dad, brother, sister, they got a ball here, you'll give the ball to them. 
You get your uh, your Goldilocks position, you creep up, you take your jump step, they throw it over a shoulder, go grab it, okay? You guys have worked on that hundreds of times. I don't need to go too much into detail about that. But uh, the one thing I do want you guys to focus on with that is when you do actually catch the ball, don't, don't pull one of these. All right, don't pull one of those. I don't care that there's nobody on base. I don't care that it's a third out of the inning and you have nowhere to go with the ball, okay? The point is you're working on a bad habit, all right? So even out here, focus on, I mean, if you gotta put it in your head, hey, there's a guy on first base, I gotta, I gotta catch the ball, get it in the second as quick as I can so he doesn't advance the base on me, all right? So you're gonna catch the ball over your shoulder and immediately you're gonna turn back and you're gonna work towards the target, all right? So those are drop steps that you guys can work in. Um, the other thing I like to do, one of my favorite drills actually, um, whoever you guys are with, they'll have a ball over here. So I'll just put the ball right there and I'll be right here, all right? And again, I'm gonna take my little creep step, Goldilocks position, jump step, I'm ready to go. And whoever you're with is gonna throw the ball far enough to the point where you can't catch it, all right? What we're doing here is we're simulating the ball that you are not going to catch. It's gonna reach the warning track, it's gonna reach the fence, and you gotta go get it, okay? So, they're gonna throw it, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna sprint. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go get that ball, I'm gonna gather it with my hand and my glove at the same time, make sure I actually pick up the ball, because if you go down with a hand, you know, you're getting the tendency, you might, might slip out, and then that's another base, okay? So, what whoever you're here with can help you out with, um, when you're running to go get the ball, tell your mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever, just yell out, ball, 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 ball. And they can move 20 feet to the left after they throw it. They can move 20 feet to the right. They can move hundreds of feet that way. It doesn't matter. The point is, what we're trying to work on is when you're running out there, the only thing you should be focusing on Yes, have an idea in your mind about who is on base, where you think you're going to be throwing the ball to. But realistically, you're throwing the ball to the cutoff man. And the cutoff man has to be loud enough for you to hear him. So when you get the ball, you don't have to, you don't have to get the ball, turn around, and then waste time looking for your target. You know where he is because you hear him or her in the background. All right? So you're going to run. You're going to get the ball. My cutoff man behind me, either over here, over here, switch it up just to change it up a little bit. They're gonna be yelling ball, ball, ball. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna work towards them. If they don't have a glove, don't throw it. Just work on the footwork. If they have a glove, you're warmed up, you're loose, ready to go, throw it, go for it. Do what you gotta do. Um, that'll that'll help you guys out tremendously. Both of these drills, I mean, they're you do them all the time as outfielders and it's, I mean, it's unbelievably important, man. It's gonna, it's gonna up your guys' game tenfold. The thing, uh, the last thing I wanna put emphasis on is you really shouldn't be the only one out here doing these drills. What I mean by that is all the time I played, you know, peewee, minor league, high school, college, whatever, I work on stuff, okay? I work on stuff myself, but it's not until someone actually points out, hey, I noticed you were doing this, maybe, you know, switch it up, do it this way. Okay. In the same sense, you're going to get into the routine. You could go back, look at this video and think you perfected it, but who knows if I was there right in front of you, maybe you're not taking as deep of a drop step as you can. Maybe you're not gaining enough ground. So what I want you guys to do, have some fun with it. Have your brother or sister, you know, you have the ball, put them out in front of you and you throw them one to go drop step. And then when they come back, say, Hey, you drop step over your right shoulder, you want them right here. Okay? And now you're right here, basically cut your drop. As far as that ball was way over your shoulder, you should have went here. Okay? So if you guys can switch the roles and you can act as the coach and point out what other people are doing wrong, it's going to help you guys focus on your own footwork, your own game, and you guys are going to get a hell of a lot better, man. So that's all I got for right now. Um, I mean, be creative with drills, guys. Do, you know, you don't have to limit yourself to what my what I'm saying you guys can do here. Be creative. Do what you got to do. Get your work in. Have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. 
Uh, wish all the best for you and your family, and I can't wait to get back out there with you guys whenever that is and work on stuff. Take care, guys.